having multiple associate level certifications is never a bad thing, right? Like the uh, dev associate and, and CCNA automation being a very well-rounded exam. Like the things that you're doing, you're never going to regret having that knowledge if you go through the, the, the prep and practice. And so just getting it out there, it's okay to have multiple associates. You don't need to pick and choose a specialization uh, and go professional level right off the bat. That being said, um, this certification will definitely give you a primer into what it's like to be an automation engineer. Hello and welcome to the final episode in our series of CCNA prep. I'm Francois, he's Quinn. Today we're going to talk about section six, which is network fundamentals. So if you look at this section and you're already a network engineer, um, this is going to be an easy one. Quinn, what, what's your take on that? Yeah, I, I mean, we used to have this slide that we would present uh, at Cisco Live in, in, in the DevNet theater. Um, where we talked about the differences between the CCNA and at that time the DevNet Associate, where the the CCNA was ninety percent networking and ten percent automation, and then you have the you know it was like a slopes of a triangle, right? And then the the DevNet Associate was ninety percent automation, ten percent um, uh, networking. Not quite true because this domain's fifteen percent, but still it's it's one of those things where it's like. It, if if you if you come from that networking background, like even if you have not done your CCNA and you've just done your CCNT or sorry CCST um, network uh, um, certification, a lot of these concepts should be very familiar to you because it's uh, talking about that standard, uh, the network devices, their function, what they do, IP addresses, you know, network topologies, and those kinds of things. So I, I it's it's one of those, it's. I don't want to say they're give me points because we don't give anybody points for free on these exams. But um, to your point, if, if you have some networking background, this should feel this is like the the sweet spot. This is the meat and potatoes of of, of what you've been doing in, in your day job. Yeah, I mean, fundamentally, you can't automate what you don't understand. You have to have some amount of domain expertise to automate something. And um, th this is what we we assess to be the minimum amount of domain expertise you need to be. Uh, a CCNA network automation. Uh, your, your call out to the CCST, maybe even less less subnetting that in that certification is 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 a good reference point. Another way of saying that is, if you already have a CCNA, you're going to find this easy. This is easier than what you did when you took your CCNA. So um, I think this this is this is a good one from that perspective. Yeah, and there and there may be a few things that you you may have not been familiar with in, in your CCNA. I'm, I'm looking at something like recognize common port protocol values uh, and NetConf popping up. You may have not had to worry about, you know, TCP 830 uh, being exposed for your NetConf uh, uh, devices uh, in the CCNA. So some of these things you may pick up, it's like, oh, that's a good thing to, to, to shove back in, in, the old, uh, in the old filing cabinet. Uh, for later on, then you'll pick that up as part of your exploration during your automation studies. But yeah, to your point that a lot of this is is table stakes, network engineer, fundamentals, uh, CCST without the subnetting. So you, you mentioned for studies, I think as, as we close this series, we can we should touch a bit about that. There's definitely a few different paths open to you at this point. If if you're not a CCNA already, you should probably become a CCNA. I mean, that that's still the foundational certification for networking. Um, we also have another certification, which is the CCNA Cybersecurity, formerly known as the uh, Cybersecurity Associate. If you're someone who's more interested in, in in that aspect of the industry than in the traditional networking, that's another possible direction. Uh, and there is there is some overlap between security and networking, between security and automation. None of those things are mutually exclusive. Uh, Quinn, what, what other paths do you see uh, past those CCNA laterals? Yeah, well, I mean, before I even get down there, like it, it having multiple associate level certifications is never a bad thing, right? Like what we try, talked about earlier on at the at the beginning of the certification uh, series was these the the, the dev associate and, and CCNA automation being a very well rounded exam. Like the things that you're doing, you're never going to regret having that knowledge if you go through the the, the prep and practice. And so, just getting it out there, it's okay to have multiple associates. You don't need to pick and choose a specialization uh, and go professional level right off the bat. That being said, um, this certification will definitely give you a primer into what it's like to be an automation engineer. Uh, we've com completely revamped the the um, 
the new exam topics for uh, the CCNP automation. So you have until uh, February 3rd of 2026 to study under the old exam topics, but we have completely revamped the, the professional automation uh, to be very focused on solution-oriented uh, designs and, and, and practices and how to build larger scale uh, and robust uh, automation solutions using a variety of tools, uh, things that we covered here, Ansible, Terraform, NSO, uh, Python, like these kinds of technologies aren't going to go away. And so um, that's that's one uh, 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 track you can go. Or if you realize like, hey, I'm not necessarily an, uh, an automation guy. I want to go back to networking. We still have all the CCNP, uh, you know, the networking and the security and and all of the other stuff that Francois, I'm sure you can you can speak to around the actual networking pieces uh, of what we have in our portfolio. Yeah, those, those are some good yeah. options. There's there's not one that's really better than the other. They're, they're all equally good. I'm totally with you on the multiple CCNAs I have for myself, including one that's retired as because we only have three in existence right now. And I know Quinn, you've got several too. Um, it's good to be broad. It's good to go deep on something. And and like you were saying. As you move towards the CCNP automation, if you choose that path, um, the first core exam there is auto core, and you're going to find almost the same topics, just of course at a professional level of depth instead of an associate level of depth. So there's a lot of paths in front of you. Uh, this, this is something that's going to open some doors. The sky's the limit. Uh, I mean, and 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 these things are are. Uh, you know, you'll, you'll figure this out as you go through these things. To your point, you've got multiple associates. You figure out what you like and what you don't like, and you'll go from there. But there's definitely a path for everybody. If you're looking for some uh, content to help you with this, of course, we have everything you need on Cisco U. I'll start with the uh, free course that we have called Dev NAE. That's an always-on free course. Just create an account in Cisco U and come and take it. That will teach you some network automation fundamentals. We also have two pay the courses, we have the preparation course, the official preparation course for this. It's still called Dev ASC, or the old name of this, DevNet Associate. Um, and that one can be part of your Cisco U All Access uh, or Central subscription if you have one of those, or you can purchase this as a, as a single title for 180 days on Cisco U. And finally, we have another course, which is a skills course called PRNE, which is Python uh, Programming for Network Engineers. That one is not directly mapped to this cert, but it'll teach you a lot of Python directly applicable. So everything you see here that is Python related is covered in depth in PRNE. So those are the uh, the traditional course options in Cisco U. And I know, uh, Quinn, we have some tutorials too, right? Yeah, so so the the technical advocate team is always creating these, these free tutorials within Cisco U. So, um, if you have a Cisco U account, uh, you can just search for tutorials. Uh, if you don't, you can create a free um, a Cisco U account using your uh, Cisco credentials and, and search for uh, tutorials. There's a, a little checkbox where you can uh, filter the results. Uh, the tutorials are, are uh, perpetually free, uh, always available. Uh, we don't have the flexibility of having um, lab infrastructure like you do in some of the paid titles. Uh, so it may require you to go uh, either use your uh, own laptop as a dev box or, or use something like the uh, DevNet sandboxes, but we have a variety of automation topics from Ansible to Terraform to uh, some NSO introductions. We have uh, Python programming and how to do unit tests and, and just basic Python uh, manipulation, how to call APIs. Uh, so there's a variety of, of automation tutorials and we're constantly updating those. We tend to release, um, I would say between uh, 15 to 20 every quarter. So we're, we're constantly refreshing with new content based on, on themes. So if uh, something's not there today, it doesn't mean it won't be there uh, later on. Uh, so constantly check back. But like I said, those are, are perpetually free uh, and available uh, always on Cisco U with a free account. I think we, we should close by reminding people of some of the resources out there. Um, we have the Cisco Learning Network community. Um, there's people out there answering questions on, on a daily basis. Quinn, yourself, I myself, every now and then, although probably not as much as you do. Um, so I, I know we've said it in different steps in the past, but you're definitely not not alone here. Uh, we're a lot of us who have gone through these search ourselves are very happy to help you and, and guide you and, and answer your questions. So please join us and let's do this. Yeah, absolutely. And and for all those out there who are are looking to um, 
to go down this path and, and take the certification or maybe you're stuck. Uh, like to Francois's point, Cisco Learning Network is a great place. You can at tag either one of us and and we're we're, we're or or any one of the the, the members of the community and uh, we'll we'll get you we'll get you squared away. So with that, uh, I will I guess I'll we'll close and and happy studying to everybody and and best of luck at all of your certification endeavors.